I'm back. I knew you'd be back. I'm back. I What'd never, you buy? You must have spent money on I something. I never officially left, so you know, I leave a machine here. That way we're always mobilized. Always. Mo oh, good. That means I don't get a mobilization fee. Well, I haven't charged you for that one yet. Oh. Don't I get like a little card and after I stamp it a certain number of times, then it's a uh, free mobilization? Yeah, I'll ask Donnie what he thinks about the members. Yeah. Car. We'll have to get that. That'd be good. You know, after the fifth hauling the next one's free or something yeah. like that like the car wash that makes sense you fill up your car like five times you get a a seven dollar car wash right it's perfect yeah. so all you right spend two thousand moving equipment you'll get one free moving or something like that is that hmm. how it works i think that sounds like a great idea i'll just be like i'll just charge you a hundred bucks more for four times and then then knock four hundred dollars off this one will be free yeah perfect what are you gonna do today i don't know you said everything was laid out and i was ready to go but i didn't see anything laid out i'm not ready to go. oh it rained it washed it away oh, okay but the paints that i put out they uh, stayed you must use better paint funny how that works yeah well uh well josh disappeared josh left us. that's probably smart yeah all right well guess yeah. let's get to doing something do it down here 54 inch wide comes out what 20 feet yep then angles correct that way and then just stop it into the hill right there or yeah we'll kind of figure it out yep and then this one's going to match this angle okay so it's going to be angled off the house right from the get-go i got you space the same all we'll the way through just, we'll figure that angle out once we dig this we can yeah do you want to look at all of them or you just want to I want figure to one at a time we'll paint it out because we can't paint that one out till we know where this one's going so makes sense makes sense i see somebody's picked up my string that was laying on the wall so we'll have to re string that and pull a straight edge paint that i love this garage. rock it's always hanging out you should keep it i am throw it in the bowl <laughs> so the first thing you have to do is get your string line out you want to go as far on the wall as you can especially yeah. since this wall has a bow in the middle Still a, bow, eh? a little bow I think we should bring the 220 back and just ram it in there like a wrecking ball. Well, anyway, so you kind of come out about where that's at, and then set his little flags for where our corner starts because that's where the steps are going to be going up. I was thinking you need to be more to the left. Which was my left? Yeah. Well, it depends. Do you want it to curve back in? No, so more you to your to, right. You want to go right. A little more to, back to your left, just a little bit. Yeah, right there. About right there? Yeah. So I was about an inch off. See? Good thing I was here. Good thing. Don't right. worry if I didn't notice that somebody on YouTube would have. How about you hold this and let me paint it? Yeah. You don't trust my painting skills? No. Where is the paint? Up here. Up there. Make sure you breathe hard while you're bent over. Got a cast for error. Where's my mask? <laughs> I mean, we can paint marks, so I'm just going to dig it where I want to dig it. Mm -hmm. That's why I figured so. Yeah. Yep. All right. That's done. All right. See you tomorrow. Now we need to yep. That's about all we can do for the day. <laughs>
say nothing about bringing it this evening. I'm like, there's no need to drop it off when I can bring it in the morning. It definitely ain't the prettiest pudding I've dug, but it's a pudding. Mm. About three times prettier than I need. So we're allowed to put gravel. You can put gravel in there afterwards. We're not just like wait until they leave. No, you're allowed to put gravel in there. It's just uh, they want to be able to check the surface gotcha. that you're not trying to cover up. You know, what's all that? What's all that color? Is that clay? What are we doing today, Josh? A whole bunch of rebar tying. Rebar. That must mean that somebody got at least a couple footings done. Yep. Better than zero. Alright, so we got two footings dug. So we're going to go ahead and start getting the rebar in those. And I'll show you how that all went and uh, get to it. Chris got two of the footings dug. This is the biggest one and has that little kickback for the steps there. And then we got one here that matches this angle perfectly. Here to do some step downs in this one. There you go. So about where top well where the top of the uh, brick ledge is come out there with dirt and it'll all be raised up and then be blended into where the driveway where you see it kind of starts to come uphill we thought about just doing one retaining wall and having it taller which would have brought dirt out to here but it would have just been way tall than all this and anyway so we're doing two so we're going to measure this so we know how much rebar to bring down we're using all number five for this it's all mst rebar you see me use that on the house and we've got corners and crossbars every 32 inches and this particular footing gets four wide all the other three footings will be three wide for the rebar and of course here where the steps are going we'll do an extra probably an extra couple right there so there you go all right so we know this is 20 feet probably need the big one else we're gonna have to measure it like three times okay well, that's 20 feet we know that Just walk that way with it. So, 50 feet long. So 70 feet, that's what I thought. So the good news is that first 20 feet, we don't have to overlap because it's a step down. So it'll just be full pieces we'll have to shovel out the gravel there and then this will be four pieces four lengths by the time we do our crossover our uh, overlaps so four times four 16 plus those four is 20 plus whatever your handy dandy excel sheet came up with that tells us our crossbars so we need 20 full pieces just to do this plus the crosses that's right, Josh just reminded me it's two grids tall. So like where our footings for the basin were just one grit, one layer of rebar. The engineer for this called for it to be stacked too high. Look at all the geese on the corner property over there, the little corner. We're gonna run them off. They will invade our pond. So we'll do that in a minute. So we actually need 40 pieces plus, plus all the crossbars.
All right, so we got our number five rebar. We got our handy dandy rebar chairs. We got our handy dandy rebar corners. So we're gonna get all this laid out and tied up today. Both of them, so they'll be ready. Chris is coming back Monday, which is two days from now, to finish the other two, so we'll knock those out. So I feel like uh, unless we get rained out, we should be ready for inspection Tuesday as expected. And then I've got to check with Casey on his schedule for pouring concrete because we're pouring the footings and we're pouring the bottom and the top of the pump room and we're pouring the hallway to go ahead and get that so that once all this is done, we can go ahead and do our backfilling and be done until final grade at the end where we put topsoil on and grade it out and all that. So, yippee. So Josh just started laying this out, tying it up. So that's our extra little grid for the steps, but it's four pieces that'll roll down that way. And then this is a little step down. So we'll put a grid here. So we'll put a grid here and then it'll shoot out and overlap a little bit and we'll have a, uh, we'll have some pieces of tying to that. Then I've come over here and I've set up the 12 inch block. It'll be sitting on the edge there. So I'm gonna take, and from this mark forward, I'm gonna take the insulation off. And because we're going to drill 
and epoxy in rebar right into the side of the wall as this gets stacked up for our horizontal pieces. Then I'm gonna go down here. Chris left me this. He said he was afraid there were some pipes here. I told him there weren't, but he didn't believe me. So I'm shoveling this out by hand, uh, but we'll epoxy in the pieces that come through here. So the idea is that everything ties into the pool wall to give it support. Wall runs down through there, runs down through there. Y'all know how this goes. So get that done. Um, I'll leave. Well, I'll have to make a little cut for the front or we'll, we'll see how that works out. But this has to slide. I want this to slide up. I do want the face to be even with this face because we're going to put rock on this front. We'll just carry it around as the current thinking. So yeah, so let's get to it. Good times. These are the good times. 